the five people that you need in your life and why is Darth Vader standing here with me? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Alright? Now, ito ay part ng aking series ng Sunday Motivation videos in which I try to maybe help set the tone for your next week. I know kasi pag Sundays, medyo tricky na. Ayaw na natin pumasok na naman. Isa na namang work week, isang study week. And we get a little bit discouraged. And hopefully, itong mga videos na ito can help you, alam mo yun, give you a little bit of a boost. Change the tone. Maybe get you started dito sa susunod na bagong linggo na ito. Kasi if you think about it, every new week is actually a gift. Kaya lang sometimes we are just not in the right mood for it. And hopefully, makatulong ito sa inyo. Now, itong video nito is something very dear to my heart. It's actually based off of a blog post that I wrote years, years ago, actually more than a decade ago, which is yung five people, young people need in their lives. Pero now, as I, and then, I've, I've grown older, medyo mas tanda na ako, na-realize ko, hindi naman lang mga bata ang kailangan ito. Hindi lang young people ang kailangan itong five people na ito. Because one sad part and sad reality ng mga nami-meet kong tao rin, nakaka-interact ko na, na tao rin on a daily basis is that um, kailangan din nila itong mga to. And some, some people, yun, tumanda na rin lang din sila na hindi pa nila nakikita yung team nila. Now, ano itong mga five people na ito? Now, itong five people na ito ay hindi literal. Ibig sabihin, hindi talaga ang nagpe-present siya na parang kailangan, alam niyo yung bumukas yung langit, tapos magkaroon ng arrow, tapos ituro siya kung anong klaseng tao siya. Some of these roles will actually be found in one person, maybe two. Some of them you may um, you have to actively go and look for sa buhay ninyo. Pero it'll do you good if you can actually spot them. Now, ang challenge would be in the next week, hopefully you can find kung sino yung nag-fill ng mga roles na ito sa buhay ninyo at yung mga spots na wala pang laman, go ahead and find them. Okay? Huwag kayong mahiyan na hanapin sila. Para tong basketball game, kasi di ba sa basketball you need five players to play ng full court. Yung mga may positions yan lahat. You have center, power forward, small forward, shooting guard, and then your point guard. Parang ganun tong five roles na ito. Now, again, roles siya, more like archetypes actually. And the uh, prayer ko for you guys is to find for you to find all five of yours. Okay, now let's start to talk about them right now with the first person that you need in your life. The first person that you need is a parent. Now, the definition of parent is someone who loves you unconditionally and isn't afraid to tell you. It doesn't have to be your biological parent. Hindi dapat literal na parent na magulang kasi sino pumirma sa birth certificate mo, sino ba nagluwal sa you. It's not necessarily like that. Now, why do I say that? Because I know. A lot of people, I mean, come from ano ba, broken families as well. Ma uh, hindi din masadong okay yung situation sa family. And uh, hindi naman yung limitation din sa inyong paghahanap ng isang parent. You can't really sit around and wait for your parents to magically change. Naman. Uh, honestly, in my life, I've had a lot of people go through and fill that parent role for me. Not just my actual parents. I have a good relationship with my parents, no? Pero some of the things I learned throughout also came from surrogate na mga nanay-nanayan, tatay-tatayan. Uh, I was in seminary before and I had a room mother who really played a vital role in my life. So yun, di ba nanay-nanayan din yun? I had a uh, daddy when I was in college. And actually, siya, sa kanya nang galing tong concept na to. Um, mainly because he, he said a line that I loved so much and um, really helped me heal as a person. So it's not verbatim naman, but it's something na na-adapt ko into something I share to other people, lalo na pagdating sa parents. So earlier this year, I actually sat on a panel with a bunch of mommies. You have Judy, Judy Travis, si, um, Bianca Gonzalez Intal, and si Andy Manzano. And um, we were asked kung ano yung parang advice din namin sa mga moms. Kahit na funny, di, hindi naman ako talaga mom. Uh, pero I was there with them. And I said this, no, I shared this little nugget. I told them, the one thing that you need to go home and tell your kids is this. I love you no matter what. Okay? So basically, there's nothing you can do, nothing you can say that would make me love you less. And um, I'm really glad kasi when I said that, actually, uh, I still... 
I am a little bit fangirling pa rin up to this moment that Bianca actually quoted that and showed that sa vlog niya, sa mga posts nila, and a bunch of other people as well. So, really, that line really resonates with a lot of people. And I need you to have someone who tells you that. Maybe hindi literal na parent, pero kung maganda kung literal na parent eh. Alam niyo yun, yung joke natin lagi na. Alam niyo, naya mo siya hindi siya love ng mama niya. It actually hurts for a lot of people kasi may pinaghuhugutan yun. Posible talaga na baka hindi nila nararamdaman na mahal silang ng mama nila, ng biological mom nila. So, if you are one of those people, um, find someone else. Okay? Find someone who will fill that parent role. Again, it doesn't have to be older than you. It doesn't have to be a literal na um, mother-daughter pinirmahan na relationship or father-daughter pinirmahan na relationship. What you can do would be find lang someone who will be willing to do that. Love you unconditionally and actually tell you. Kasi you need to hear it. Okay? And, alam nyo, nakakalungkot. Ang daming tumanda na lang. Alam nyo, nakamatay na ng parents nila na hindi nila verbally nasabi na mahal sila ng Ma, ng magulang nila. Hindi nila larinig yun. Kahit na alam yun, ano naman, pagsisilbihan naman sila, pina, binuhay naman sila, pinagtrabahuhan sila, pero ang problema was hindi na verbalize. So, very important yun. And if you are a parent, go and do that to your kids right now. Pause nyo mo na yung video. Balikan nyo na lang ako. Okay? Second person that you need in your life ay isang mentor. Now, ano ang difference ng mentor sa parent? Ang parent kasi is someone na doesn't matter kung anong mangyari, mahal ka pa rin niya, sinasabi niya mahal ka niya. Ang mentor is different because it, it has to be someone who believes that you can be more than you are right now and is actually willing to put in the work to actually help you become who they can see na you can be. Okay? So, finding a mentor, honestly, is one of the hardest parts sa buhay. And, Ako, I am not mentored by one person. Right now, I consider a lot of people as my mentors. It's funny kasi, when I was in college, I had a professor, si Pastor Manrik Tan Pascual from Horizon. No? Sabi niya sa amin noon, I don't have one mentor, I have a lot of mentors. Tapos sa loob-loob ko, ha, parang yun nangyari? Imposible yun, pag mentor, dapat isa lang. Yun yung thinking ko, no? Pero now that I'm older, it really makes sense. Kasi, wala naman tayong mahahanap na, alam niyo, isang tao na magde-devote ng entire uh, time nila with you. Lalo na higher up the pyramid. Alam nyo yung gusto nyo ng mga experts. Hindi, wala silang oras to do that. But you can actively seek them out. Ask them out for coffee. Ask for advice. Ask for their time. Read their books. That's a good way to go about it. For example, I uh, actually have a bunch of mentors from different fields. Isasama ko na honestly si Tito Chinkitan who I consider as a mentor especially after we met earlier this year sa isang YouTube event and then we saw each other again a few weeks back which actually got me to let me rethink some of my pricing sabi niya lagi ako sinasabihan ng mura-mura ng hinihingi mo uh, at saka paano ka nabubuhay mga ganun worried siya about me uh, about investments and everything like that so sa financial matters like if I have any problems regarding that I will go to him because I managed to have a pretty okay relationship with him and the guy is really really kind and gracious as in siya yung Shen, ano, very active siya. Tsaka, ano, pag nagtanong ka, he'll respond. So, yun, di ba? It doesn't have to be naman na physical, lagi kami magkasama. It doesn't have to be like that. But I consider him as my mentor when it comes to financial stuff. So, all of these things, again, you can actively seek out someone who will do that for you. Kasi, alam yun yung kailangan mo yun sa buhay mo. Kailangan mo ng tao na, mahal ka niya, oh, he cares about you. Pero hindi siya contento sa kung ano ka ngayon. Willing siyang tulungan ka. And in a lot of ways, I hope na what I'm doing here sa channel na to, um, does that for you rin sa maraming bagay. Kasi, for example, when it comes to language, I don't say naman ako pinaka the best sa ganyan. Honestly, I'm still learning. I'm learning with you. Uh, maybe just a step lang ako na nauuna sa inyo. Uh, pero I'm hoping na I can be that for you in some way, kahit na hindi tayo physically magkasama or personally nag-uusa. So, kasi ang mentor is really just someone who believes in you and is willing to help you. And honestly, ako, if you're looking for a mentor, this is me as one because I believe in you. I may not have met you personally, but I already believe that you can be better. And I am willing to hopefully, kahit sa mga videos ito, help you move to that next level. Okay? So, number two, find a mentor. Okay? Now, person number three that you need in your life is a friend. Now, bakit ko din roll yung distinction between a parent, a mentor, and a friend? Bakit? Kasi ang, ang friend ninyo, okay, is someone who also, of course, loves you, accepts you, pero ang pinaka-core is yung acceptance. A friend is someone who will listen to you 
no matter what. Okay? Someone who will accept you, listen to you, no matter what. Now, bakit ko kailangan i-draw yung line na yun? Kasi, there are times na okay, may pinagdadaanan tayo, personal, medyo stupid mistake, nakakahiya, na hindi natin, honestly, maisisiwalat agad sa parents. Okay? Kasi, alam mo, mahal ka niya, nila, pero ayaw mo sila madisappoint, or baka hindi nila maitindihan. Uh, hindi mo rin maisiwalat sa mentor mo, kasi yung relationship mo with uh, your mentor is more, ano ba, professional, more, more teacher, student, trainee, trainer ang dating. So, you need a friend for that. And, ang role ng friend talaga, honestly, is just to listen. So, yung makikinig sa'yo without ju- judgment. You need someone who will listen to you without judgment. Okay? And, doon napapasok yung role ng iyong friend. Now, hindi naman sinasabi na kukonsintihin ka niya, na bubuyuin ka niya, na ano mo yun, ituturo ka niya na, sige, gawin mo lang ginagawa mo kahit mali. Pero, willing siya muna, first na pakinggan ka. Pakinggan yung side mo ng things bago mag-advice. And that is actually something that we all need. Most of the time, honestly, uh, people ask me for advice. And uh, sometimes they don't do it directly. Sometimes they just invite me over for coffee, like discuss lang sa table, stuff like that. Tapos they would, alam mo share stories ng nangyayari sa kanila, sa trabaho po, ganito, ito yung pinagdadaanan ko ngayon, ganyan, ganyan. And I actively um, ask them, as in tinatanong ko talaga, do you want me to give you advice or do you just want me to listen? Kasi what I figured out is, if they want advice, then they can come to me as a mentor. I can be a mentor to them. Pero if they just want someone to listen, ibig sabihin sa panahon na yon, all they need is a friend. They just need someone na makikinig sa kanila na hindi sila hosgan, hindi sila interrupt, hayaan sila ikwento yung gusto nilang ikwento. And may mga times talaga sa buhay natin na kailangan natin yon. Kasi one thing na, again, trust me, I'm a psychologist, no? One of the things na we were taught was that. Now, when it comes to counseling, it's really not about telling the person what he or she needs to do. It's helping them get to the point na alam na nila yung gagawin nila. Kasi most of the time, alam naman na natin kung ano yung gagawin natin sa problema natin eh. Ayaw lang natin i-verbalize or ayaw natin harapin or ayaw natin actually gawin. And the friend mo has to help you then in that way kasi nakikinig lang siya sa'yo. So, yun lang yung something na you may want to think about then. Yung mga friends that you have, the people that you really call na friends mo, do they listen to you without judging you? Kasi kung hindi sila nakikinig sa'yo, kung sila yung pasimuno na binabala ka agad, sinushoot down ka agad, then maybe you may need to find a new set of friends. Because they do exist. Meron talaga at meron yan. Um, baka hindi lang yung barkada na pinapaligiran ka ngayon. And there's no way for you to change them. Uh, ng pilitan. They may never change at all. But you can f- always find better friends. Okay? So, medyo infamous yung advice ko. Medyo hindi masyadong uh, mainstream. Pero, I hope you listen and consider that. Okay? So, again, find a friend. The fourth person that you need in your life, again, papasok na naman tayo kay Darth Vader, at sa Star Wars lore, is someone whom I call as your Padawan. Kung familiar kayo sa Star Wars, ang Padawan is basically someone na ikaw naman na mag-mentor. Someone who is basically, ano ba, younger than you. Maybe not pagdating sa age, pero sa industry, sa field, um, sa experience, someone who has less experience than you. Someone naman who looks up to you. So, kung ang mentor mo is someone that you look up to, as a friend is someone that you will walk na side by side with, a padawan is someone who will actually be someone na tutulungan ninyo pataas. Okay? So, someone ay may mentor at tutulungan ninyo. Uh, padawan is a learner. Okay? Now, bakit ito importante? Honestly, maraming benefits ang pagkakaroon ng padawan. Okay? In my life, kasi it's been a way for me to hold myself accountable sa mga ginagawa ko. Having people who actively seek out my advice, actively want to participate in a learning experience with me, people like you who subscribe to this channel, I mean, like right now, I have 400 and ano ba? 400, check ko nga. Nakalimut, hindi ko nakita eh. 438,000 of you right now. May 439 maybe uh, by the time that you're watching this video. And just thinking that may 439,000 subscribers ako on YouTube gets me to thinking 
sa kung paano ko dapat i-live yung life ko, ano ba yung mga pwede kong gawin to make, my, make myself a better person, what are the things that I can impart to you while I'm still here physically on earth. So, having someone like that will actually do you good kasi you will want to be a better person for them. So, find a padawan. Kung ikaw ang tatrabaho, may bagong salta ba sa inyo? May new hire ba kayo? Meron ba kayong uh, nakikita na pwede niyong Sheran, pwede niyong tulungan. Meron ka bang estudyante? Meron ka bang kapitbahay? Kinakapatid na mas bata sa'yo. Because, honestly, we really can't ensure a legacy in life. Uh, it's something that I struggled with when I was younger. Parang natatakot ako na what if, like, ano na yung meaning ng life ko? Will I just be like, alam niyo yun, usok lang ba ako? When you live, you die, and then you're forgotten. You really wouldn't last sa memory ng mga tao unless you actively participate in their lives. And in a way, like me being a uh, mentor nga, to some of you, me having you guys, it, it really changed my perspective in a lot of things. And it helped me have more meaning. So I want the same experience for you. Find someone who will be your padawan, who will be your learner, someone who you can kind of leave a part of you sa kanila. And honestly, it will give your life... Alam yun, yung meaning na possibly hindi nyo nakikita in acquiring things or getting a title. It's different when you're talking about changing other people's lives. So, go and find your padawan. Okay? The fifth person that you need in your life is a glorified version of yourself. Ano ang ibig sabihin ko doon? Pag sabi kasing glorified, no? Sa Christianese na tinatawag, basically the language of Christians. When you talk about glorified, glorified body, ang ibig sabihin doon, parang ah, nasa heaven ka na, so perfect na. Parang ganun. So when you talk about a glorified vers version of yourself, this is someone na nakikita mo naman yung some of your traits, some of your talents, meron din tong tao na to. Pero siya, ibang level na siya. Alam mo yun? Kung baga, um, ibang, ibang antas na yung narating niya versus kung nasaan ka. So, para, kang, para siyang ikaw. Nakikita mo yung, alam mo yun, parang siguro nung bata siya, ganito rin siya. Um, and then, maybe I can be like her. So, hindi siya, hindi siya ano eh, hindi siya idol, idol na idol na parang, oh wow, idol kita, and yay. Hindi, hindi ganun eh. Mas personal siya in that, uy, mahilig din siya sa movie na to. Gusto niya rin niyang book na yan. Medyo pareho kami ng values. Nakikita ko, yung pangarap ko, siya yun. So, kunyari, gusto ko, gusto ko maging lawyer, siya lawyer na siya. Something like that. Gusto ko maging doktor, siya doktor na siya. Gusto ko maging teacher, siya teacher na siya. So, you can find someone who is a glorified version of yourself. Now, why is it important? Kasi, number one, seeing someone na like you, who has the same weaknesses, same strengths, pero nasa mas mataas na level na, that will actually let you believe in yourself enough kasi kung siya kinaya niyang marating yun, kaya mo rin. Okay? Kasi halos pareho kayo ng, ng, ano eh, ng setup eh. Hindi man kompleto ha, as hindi naman lahat ng nangyari at experience sa buhay pareho. Pero you will actually um, find some someone like that, I feel. Kasi lahat naman ng tao may ganun eh. Parang, wow, alam nyo yun yung napapasana all ka minsan. Parang, ay, siya, ganun. Parang nung bata rin ako, may, may, mahilig na ako sa libro, ganyan, mahilig din ako sa ganyan. So maybe I can be like her. Yung ganun, ganun klase ng tao, yung glorified version of yourself. And another reason why it's going to be helpful is kasi dahil nakikita mo siya na nagsasucceed, meron ka parang holy discontent sa life mo na parang maybe I should do more, maybe I should be more, maybe I should try harder. Kasi ito yung, ito yung hinahabol kong standard eh. Now, one of the people na parang glorified version of myself na tinatawag ko was actually one of my college professors. Uh, she was actually a lawyer so everything that I wanted to be um, I just a book and everything like that so every time I saw her fuma fan girl ako pero hindi lang ako fan girl na alam niyo yun gusto ko magpa-picture ganun hindi eh gusto kong maging katulad niya pero na-appreciate ko kasi kung ano yung evolution niya and um, one of my pinaka best uh, gifts sa life ko it was actually um turning her from alam niyo yun, yung aking lang na titingnan ko from afar na glorified version of myself and then she eventually becoming one of my mentors and uh, that was such a great blessing sa life ko and I hope you find someone like that okay, in your life find someone na alam niyo nasa same field as you are in right now and pero mas successful sila someone na you want to be like and uh, someone who is also like you a little bit and then aim for that person not to take them down ha but to be like them to see what they're doing and kind of emulate what they're doing. Kasi, alam nyo, I learned a lot of things from 
from her, the glorified version of myself, like uh, showing her weaknesses as well, like learning with her students. Never ko yun na experience kasi in my other teachers eh. Like most of my teachers will pretend like alam nila yung ginagawa nila. Pero what she do would actually look it up in front of us. Alam nyo yun, yung lagi ko sila sabi sa inyo, i-google nyo. Check yung dictionary, dun mismo. And she would do that sa harap namin na students niya. Na, na mind blown ako kasi alam nyo yun, it takes a lot of humility and it also shows a passion for learning more than yung kagustuhan niya to impress us. She would use that as a learning experience for all of us. So, she's always constantly learning. Tapos nahiya ako sa buhay ko, honestly, kasi sabi ko, ang successful niya na ng tao, ang galing-galing na niya. Tapos, ano pa rin siya, learner pa rin siya, gusto niya pa rin matuto. Bakit naman ako tatama rin, di ba? So, yun, yun yung fifth person that you need in your life. Your glorified self. Okay? A glorified version of you. Now, all of those five, honestly, like, kaya rin nandito si Darth Vader. Because, actually, Darth Vader, if you know his story, it's a very, very sad story. I know a lot of people want to hate on the prequels, yung, first, yung Star Wars episode 1, 2, 3. Um, but, ako kasi, ano ba, may affinity ako dito sa character na ito. Kasi, alam mo yun, yung definition ng wasted potential, it was Anakin Skywalker talaga. Like, ang daming mga cards played against him. When it comes to parents, di ba? Meron wala siyang dad figure. May mom siya, pero he was actually taken away from his mom. Tapos yung mentor niya, nagkaroon sila ng hindi magandang uh, relationship. Tapos wala rin siyang padawan. If you think about it, no? One of the things na hindi, na, hindi siya nagkaroon sa, sa journey niya before he turned into Darth Vader was that. Kasi wala siyang direct na mini-mentor eh. So, all of these things, di ba? Alam niyo, in my mind, uh, looking at him, Sana nagkaroon siya nun, and then maybe he wouldn't turn into this. So hopefully, kayo rin, you may want to consider doing that. If you know na kung sino yung mga five people na yun sa buhay ninyo, maybe write them a note, reach out to them, ask them out for coffee, I mean, hang out with them more, maybe tell them, alam nyo po, uh, nanood ako ng video ni Coach Laika, kayo yung parent na yun, role na yun sa akin. Or kayo yung, ikaw yung nakikita ko as my mentor. Can you be my mentor? Or ito yung uh, definition ng glorified self. Actually, kayo yung nakikita kong glorified self ko. And I know that that would encourage that person as well. So, thank you guys for watching and hopefully nag-enjoy kayo, may natutunan kayo, may napulot kayong aral sa video na ito. I know it's a little bit long, um, pero thank you for sticking with me until the end of the video. And uh, on that note, I'm going to end this. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell. Pahini yung mga upcoming le lessons, mga videos, and everything like that. And uh, again, share this with anyone that you think would be helped din ng video na ito. I would love to help more people din in what I do. So thank you guys. And uh, as always, as we always say dito sa team na ito, uh, never stop learning. Aja aja. Kaya niya. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.